the people who they believe in me, my ma, my bed, my, my coach, yeah. when they all give up on me, I just knew, like, something's got to change here. I'm doing something wrong here, do you know what I mean? Yes, we are back at it at the real life, and this week's guest, yes, I've got him, it's H Money, Harry Kenny. How are you doing, brother? Oh, I'm how are you? I'm very well, mate. First and foremost, thanks for coming on, I really appreciate giving you giving us your time. Anyway, how's life in general? Yeah, brilliant. Still eye on life from my debut. Mm-hmm. Back in camp now, aren't I, for my second mm-hmm. one next month. Just touching the debut, you're fresh from victory from that pro debut. How good was it getting in there under those bright lights and doing what you do best and showcasing those skills? Oh, it was unbelievable. Um, been a long time coming, so... Couldn't have been better, I've been waiting to do it for ages, so to do it, get out there, get the win, perform good, get paid. <laughs> it was, it was good class, That's mean. the most important Brilliant. thing, isn't it? Yeah. Were you content with your performance, Harry? Um, I was made up with it. I've seen a few things where, oh, I could have done this, could have done that. But I haven't boxed for four years, that's so mm-hmm. happy days, I was made up with it, you know what I mean? Your campaign that's super featherweight. Do you feel strong at that weight and do you feel you'll be a force to be reckoned with in this division? Yeah. Smash everyone. Mm-hmm. Everyone. <laughs> Every one of them. <laughs> but not disrespecting that one yet, you know what I mean? But I'm, I don't see myself getting beat anytime soon. And I'm looking to stay at super featherweight as well. Mm-hmm. You're at the end of the next stage of your career. Do you feel the bigger the challenge, the better Harry Kenny we will see? Yeah, million mm-hmm. percent. But as I said, I've boxed for four years, so I'm not rushing. Staying in my own lane. When the time comes, mate, it's coming, you know what I mean? Do you feel you can go all the way, Harry? Yeah, million mm-hmm. percent. Wouldn't be here if not. Mm-hmm. You're a very determined individual. Where do you get that from? <sighs> Probably where I've been in life. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. not what I can do if I put my head into it. So, a little bit of fire in your belly, isn't it? Where mm-hmm. it comes from. What makes you different for the rest, Harry? What do you have that they don't have? They come from under the proper street lights. They don't. They think they do. They don't. They had a few fights when they were kids, and that's about it. I come deep in the mud in Liverpool City. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm different about. I'm different to them. I am completely different to them. Everyone else. They say in boxing you can train a lot of things, but you can't train a heart. How big is your heart? Bigger than every other scouser's. Mm-hmm. Probably too big. To be honest. <laughs> Probably too big. <laughs> you think that does me? How badly do you want this, mate? Mm, don't put it into words. Mm-hmm. Just from what? Like my mom and that, my mom and dad, you know what I mean? I want to look after them more than anything. Mm-hmm. Got little nieces, nephews, sisters and that, you know what I mean? Little sisters, I need to look after them, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Need, to, need to do the family proud, you know what I mean? You're a very close family man, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am, yeah. Mm-hmm. I am. You're very close to your mum, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. very. What's happened with that swimming pool? <laughs> He's on my case for it now, but uh, <laughs> she'll get it, don't worry, she'll get it, mm-hmm. eventually. They say champions are born, not made. Do you believe you're putting yourself to be a world champion? Yeah. My dad still says it to me today. <laughs> when you were born, I don't know what I mean. Probably lying, you know what I mean, but mm-hmm. yeah, definitely. What gets you to bed in the morning? Is it that obsession to be a world champion? What, what's always in your mind all the time? <laughs> That's from <swimming> pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that drive. Um, I'm sick of them street corners. Mm-hmm. I'm sick of them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I've done it my whole life. I'm sick of them. Well, five years in this game, my life, I'm, I've cracked it. If I, do, if I do it properly, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm just going for it. Mm-hmm. Just work, go back to the streets. It's one of them, right? mm-hmm. That's what gets me out of bed. Mm-hmm. Sick of them streets. Mm-hmm. I'm wanting to do better in life. I know I, sh- I can do better in life. That's what kills me. That's what mm-hmm. soul destroying. You know what I mean? When you know you should be further, better in life. You feel disappointed in yourself? The- no. No. I just let myself down a little bit. Got a bit carried away. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I wasn't raised like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, when you're in jail, you're surrounded by kids with nothing. They've never come from. You know what I mean? I've never lived on a council estate and stuff like that. I've never done nothing like that. They don't know any different, mm-hmm. the people who you're in with and stuff, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. that's what's doing my head, like, I shouldn't be here. Yeah. I should be a champion boxer, that's what was in my head, doing me bang up. Mm-hmm. 
and 23 hours a day behind, and behind your door sitting yeah. there thinking, why, why am I doing here? You know what I mean? These have got to do this. Mm-hmm. I have, I've got a choice to go somewhere else. They haven't got nowhere to go. I have. So. Do you feel you've been given a second chance in life? Definitely, lad, yeah. Mm-hmm. Me. Do you need to pinch yourself sometime for where you've came from, what you've been through and where you're at now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought I was finished. Mm-hmm. When I first, first went away, I thought I was finished. Mm-hmm. I'm back. I've mm-hmm. done that now. And then wasn't. Where I was just young. One of them was just a kid asking about. Yeah. At what moment or when did you realise, fuck me, I need to get in this year. I'm in a bad place. Um, got out. I was just flat on my face. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Um, and that, that was that moment. I went back to the gym. I was still unfit and all that, you know what I mean? I wasn't mm-hmm. nothing and, and I sparred. I shouldn't have even sparred. I didn't even have two rounds of me. I, I still sparred out of my heart. I was sparring. And I got weighed in. Mm-hmm. I got weighed in, yeah, proper bad. Yeah. Of someone who I've beat up for 10 years. Mm-hmm. That woke me up a bit. Just come back to the boxing. Boxing's all about timing. Do you believe you'll get the right opportunities at the right time? And when they do come along, you'll grab them with both hands, Yeah, definitely. Listen, everything's coming my way in due time. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. They'll want to fast track me where I am not good and they will want to do it, but I'm not letting them. I'm in my own lane and I'm doing me. You know what I mean? Let them worry about them. Let me. When it comes, I will grab it with both hands. And whoever's in my way, they will be getting run, run over me. I'm telling you. You know what's scary, Harry, right? See, as an amateur, you were a, a tremendous amateur. And you didn't even... I'm not going to say you never tried, right? Because your achievements speak for itself. But see if you put... 50% in what you can as a professional, you could beat some fighter, mate. And you know that yourself. Definitely. I said that a few times. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I didn't do nothing mm-hmm. as an amateur. It was just, as I said in an interview before, granddads, my uncles, my dad, my brothers, they were all boxers. Mm-hmm. So I got brought to gym nappies. Mm-hmm. My dad was a coach. Yeah. So I'd come with him. For, so boxing to me, getting pads, bags, that's just normal. That's my life. I don't know any different. So going to the gym on D25, that's nothing. And, as an elite athlete, that's, you shouldn't you should do more than that. should be trained twice a day. I was an elite athlete going three times a week. You know what I mean? I wasn't doing a run. wasn't eating right. wasn't was out late asking about me, mates. So even to get there where I'd done, it's unbelievable. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So if I trained properly, I would have won ten times more. And, but I had be people who went to Junior Olympics and won gold and that. You know what I mean? And like, I've watched them win the gold medal from a jail cell. Yeah. <laughs> watch them win it like mm-hmm. junior olympic gold medal and i'm just like i've beat him i've boxed him i've tra- trained with him yeah like you look at dennis the and all my mates yeah. <laughs> I've, I've boxed them for years look at them all now they're all verified on instagram big superstars adam is him i've boxed him twice Do you know what i mean two crazy battles with him yeah. look at them all now would you say boxing has been your education yeah mm-hmm. it's yeah. all you know harry isn't it that's all i know school was never for me Nothing yeah. like that. It's boxing is just me, I'm just a boxer. That's that. You're 20 years old. You enjoying the journey so far? Yeah. Mm. Best, best time of my life ever. Just flying by, just having that much of a good time. Life's just. Got a month gone, got a week. You know what I mean? It's just <laughs> flying by. It's just, I just can't believe it. I'm just enjoying life so much. Mm-hmm. Happiest I've ever been. Being young, Harry, you need good, good guidance. It's paramount for success. Do you yeah. feel back then, Harry, when you were in trouble and things like that, you lacked that bit of guidance? and motivation that you, you lacked back then? Yeah, but no, ways, no. Mm-hmm. That was just me. Yeah. Because I was a little raggo, come up, I'm proper scouse, you know what I mean? Proper scouse, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. As I said before, I didn't come up in a bad estate or nothing like that. Yeah. But we are proper scousers, we are raggos, you know what yeah. I mean? So that was normal, me fighting all that. Yeah, yeah. Going out with the older kids, hanging out in cars, blah, 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 all that. That was just, that's all normal to me. Yeah. So I didn't know any difference. Mm-hmm. Do you feel you just get in with the wrong crowd at times, Harry? Do you think that? No, because no. I was one of the main kids. <laughs> I, was the, I was the youngest, but I was, yeah. I was the little shit, you know what I mean? I weren't, I weren't that kid you sent to shop and not on, you know what I mean? Not yeah. like that. I was the fucking cap and I had the arm band on. I was fucking running it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, no. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was easily... Um, easily led. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah. Who do you go for advice? We touched on, just before we come on camera here, we've got guys like Andy McCart, Dominic Vaughan, Cliffy. These guys are proper boxing men. Do you, yeah. go to the, do you go to them for advice? Some things, yeah. Mm-hmm. Danny like, and Sandra for some things like business-wise and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? 
Dom is my coach. Yeah. For me and Dom talk to everything together. If I, you know, if, mm-hmm. if Dom says to me, you're fighting him, I'm fighting him. Yeah. Well, whatever. I do what he wants me to. I believe in him. Mm-hmm. I trust him. If I have a question for him, I'm going to it for yeah. it. You know what I mean? No mm-hmm. problem. But certain people for certain things, yeah. Different yeah. things, you know what I mean? Just look at, let's look at Donnie Von McCombs, a wonderful fighting family. His granddad, yeah. Danny. These people are there for you, mate. They're going, no, any me. advice you can go to them. But That's look, it. Look at the facility we're here at the boxing, the phone and boxing fitness centre. It's got all, it's everything here, mate. You're, it. Easily, it's, it's fantastic stuff. It's, um, but you need to have character to excel in this sport. Wait, you know that, I know that. Do you feel you're creating your own character? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought, yeah. Um, as, I, as we said before, I, you need it. Mm-hmm. People can fight, like, from all with that. They can't talk, they can't, don't have to be too loud or not. You have to have a story. You have to have something. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, why else would you want to watch them? Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I'm a little character, me. Like, I reckon, <laughs> you know what I mean? Therefore, <laughs> H money. That's the name, that's mate. I love it, class, it. it. That says it all, doesn't it? Yeah. It's just a character in itself. Every fighter has dreams. Every fighter has visions. What's yours? <sighs> Unified, undisputed. Retired in the Maldives. <laughs> 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 that's me. MSG Las Vegas, where is it? Tell me. MSG probably. <laughs> oh, well, Just out of the way, happy days, you know what yeah. I mean? But mm. probably MSG. After PV, done it in MSG. Yeah. I, I want to go with MSG. Yeah. I want to do it. How much are you in love with this sport? More than I ever have been before. Mm-hmm. Ever. Ever. I actually love it. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never did. You dedicate your life to it, don't you? I do now, yeah, 100%. You live the life? 100%. Mm-hmm. No other life. No, no looking back for me now. That's mm-hmm. it. You're in your lane. This that's, is it. That's me. Mm-hmm. Fully focused. There's no. Mm-hmm. Not on the, I'm, that's what I said. I'm in the best mindset ever. And I'm loving life. I'm, I'm happy. What they say is a happy so, fighter's a dangerous fighter. That's player. what I'm saying. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm over the moon. Like it's, it's all just. It's come too quick. It's like. It's, yeah. I thought I was waiting wait for the year for my debut. Yeah. Like it just come and it was just like it's happened, I'm just not one and all. And just it's did you oh, did you, you feel at like home in that ring when you made your debut, Harry? Did yeah. you feel it? This is me. That's where I should be. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> so after it, I was saying I'm back. You know, I walk mm-hmm. into the changes, there's a few scouts, and I'm saying I'm back, boys. You know what I mean? Like this is me. Do you get nervous? You know what? No. Mm-hmm. I thought I haven't boxed. I, I never really did get nervous anyway. I'm cocky. I'm confident. I, yeah. I, I I'm the best in the world in my head. I mean, I was, I was just making a debut, but that was my show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like in my head, that's me, yeah. this is me, I don't care about no one else. I don't care who, who you are, what you are. Mm-hmm. No disrespect, but I mean, yeah. this is my gaff, this is my bill. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even if I'm the worst on the bill, I'm, this is my bill. Right. Years later, no one's asked, you know what I mean? But Being ruthless, that's it. Yeah. Being yeah. ruthless, you, you have to be ruthless, mate. At the end of the day, it's just me in the ring, innit? Mm-hmm. Not worrying about you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Me. What about me? <laughs> but, um, I, I like that, mate. I love your self confidence because uh, gotta have it. Yeah, you gotta believe in yourself. Since I was five years old, I've thought I was the best in the world. Mm-hmm. Where do you get that? You're, you're a very, very confident man. Where do you get that from? Why, why wouldn't it be? Mm-hmm. Are you kidding? Are they? Hey, why <laughs> wouldn't funny. I be? You know what I mean? <laughs> why wouldn't I be? Nah, um, it's from the kiddies, that. Yeah, we're all confident. You know what I mean? We are all confident. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Therefore, kiddies had. So let's run it back, mate. Brought up in Liverpool. How was your upbringing? Brilliant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought, as I said, I grew up in a big, nice house, lovely estate, lovely family. Mum and dad married, love, love each other, you know what I mean? Brothers, sisters. Yeah. You know, we fight like fuck, cat and dog, you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's what everyone does, don't you? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I had a good upbringing, but hanging on the streets, and you know, with a catch of yourself, you're not soft, yeah. you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. Did you have much when you were young, Harry? Did I have much? Yeah. Yeah, I had everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My mum and dad were very successful, I had everything, do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, that's what I'm trying to say, I didn't come from that life really, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I did, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like my whole family, we're all bandits and whatever, do you know what I mean? Oh. You know what I'm trying to say? So <laughs> I, I do come from that stock, but I'm good stock, do you know what I mean? Good art, yeah. good people. Mm-hmm. But I went down the wrong path, let's just put it that way. Yeah. How was your relationship with your mum and dad? Oh, she couldn't get any closer, loved them mm-hmm. to death. That's why I'm doing this. You do this for them, don't you? Mm-hmm. Myself as well, because I love it yeah. now. You know what I mean? For myself. Do you know what I like about you, Harry? But right, I watched an interview with you on IFL TV, and the first thing you spoke to Andrew about, and you says, I want to buy a house for my mum. I want to put a swimming pool on it. And you know, some people, 
are selfish and like, I want it for me, me, me. But you said you wanted that for your family. Mm. That's special, mate. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Hey, see me dad, my dad can look after himself, you know. Yeah. He's a soldier, do you know what I mean? <laughs> he look after I'll look after him, don't worry about it. He's my best mate, you know what I mean? I'll look mm-hmm. after him. But oh. got a soft spot for me, ma. She's yeah. my queen, do you know what I mean? You yeah, gotta look yeah. after your ma, haven't you? So And she so, always she always just messing about. If I don't get it, the house. Yeah. She won't well, she'd be proud yeah. of me no matter of what. Of course. But oh. mm-hmm. she always says, Come on, get me that house with that swimming pool, lad, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and that's what I wanna do. Mm-hmm. One day I want to just act like I'm not even earning that much and just go, come here and yeah, yeah. pull her up to the house. I love that, mate. I, I like, you know I like what I mean? seeing things like I'll that. I'll die a happy man. Yeah. So sex, successful man. Mm-hmm. My, dad, my dad bought properties from me, ma. Done this, done that. Yeah. She's a spoiled little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Diamond rings, Rolex, BMW. So yeah. we can't go back. I've got to keep that going. Mm-hmm. For my ma, for my kids, yeah. for my bed. Mm-hmm. I'm not going back. My dad's work hard to get where he was, where we are. Now still, you know what I mean? So, can't be going back in life, back stepping. Do you feel your upbringing shaped you into the man the other day? Yeah, definitely. Because mm-hmm. I went soft, I wasn't stupid. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was clued up to death, I was older, more advanced. But, it was just all I knew. I was a little shit, and that's mm-hmm. from that big, and that's all I knew. Mm-hmm. Being a little shit, I was the one on rob bikes, rob cars, doing this, doing that, always done this, done that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I was that kid, yeah. who's always on them bikes, them cars, doing this, and the world. Whatever, we're going into it. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Of course, yeah. of course. Your mum, your biggest fan? Probably my dad, you know. Is it? Aye? Probably my dad, you know, yeah. <laughs> but he's up there, lad, yeah, and yeah. she's got to be, ain't she? Yeah. yeah. Um, what did your mum do for a living? Nurse. Yeah. That's crazy. She well, says it all, doesn't it? Aye. She's a little nurse looking after everyone, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Was she never see your debut? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. She had a few ales, so she was alright, do you mm. know what I mean? But yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just touching back on your, your mum and dad now, have they made a lot of sacrifices for you to get you to where you're at? Mm-hmm. No. Couldn't even explain to you. Mm-hmm. Things like my dad drives me. Does he? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like babysitted. Yeah. So wipe me bum for me if I asked them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They do proper. It wouldn't be possible without them, really. You say, oh, everyone else, the sponsors, this, that, coaches. Mm-hmm. Without me, mum and dad, it wouldn't be possible. How grateful you are for that. That's why I need to get them. This house with this from the field, that's what, yeah, to yeah. show them, do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? That's why I'm after it. Mm-hmm. To um, show them, man. Yeah. I will show them, I will. Of course them, you will. I mean? yeah, you've got the skills, just look at your amateur pedigree. Well, you didn't even try. They just got to keep looking after me for now. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Who does all the cooking up here? Who's the, who's the chef? Livy. Is it? <laughs> they make up good scraps, right? They give me a poison a few times. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Aye. No, he's he's a good guy, yeah. He's a good man, he looks after He's another one. Mm. Grateful for him, he doesn't half look after me. Cooks and cleans for me. Is that right? Know what I mean? What? Did they have washing for you as well? Yeah. Fucking hell, that's all right. Yeah. The man, are I? Like, ah, that's, <laughs> ah, that's what I'm saying, he's top draw. Yeah. He looks after me, proper grateful for Cliffy, you know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. he's made up with him. So, what, what brought H-Money to boxing? Family. Mm-hmm. Old family of boxers. My dad was a coach as well when I was coming up. Yeah. So I'd go to the gym with him as a baby in his arms, yeah, put yeah. me down, take pads and that. So as I got older, I was <laughs> no hats, you know what I mean? Just loved it. And then what it was, in low low year school, very, very low school, year school, um, I was having fights. These three kids, I was, you're half bullying me. Mm-hmm. Having it with them. I'd have it with one, two, the two other two, fill me in with them. Mm-hmm. Come along to me, dad, every day, like, I'm getting filled in, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Little arm man, do you know what I mean? I'm getting filled in. Yeah. Did you get I had long you? gear, I had long gear at the yeah. time. And um, that went, that's it. I'm sick of hearing this. You're getting your hair cut and going to the gym. Mm-hmm. So I was a bit like a mummy's boy, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, got me, got me the barbers, got, got me in skinhead. Come on, you're going to the gym. I went to the gym, learning all combos and all that shit. The week after, yeah? Yeah. Well, it was like two weeks after, I was with our Tommy, older brother. I'm having a fight with this kid, and I'm like, boom, 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 boom. I bit him with a little combo, done him. And the other two come on, I went, boom, boom, done them as well. Yeah. And after that, I said, man, never stopping this, I'm never going back, you <laughs> know what I mean? I just carried on fighting me all night, just loved it. Where you can have a little fight, I just loved it. Was it. Did you get bullied when you were younger, Harry? No, not yeah. like that, I just yeah, got yeah. roughed up a few times, and yeah. then... That, payback, that's, what, that's what got me, and then when I got mm-hmm. the payback, it was sweet, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I was just on doing it. Mm-hmm. Did boxing come natural to you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Do you feel boxing's chosen you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I reckon, like when you think about it, 
Ik denk even een zappen voor de reason. Wat de ding. Mm. Dat al. Maar wat zou ik denken weet? Wie het is like uh, ze lost even. Your life just flipped upside down. One month I was winning gold medals for England. Next month I'm doing two and a half years of fucking all shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that must have that must have been tough for you. Cause you're a young man. I just said I was I was in that mentality. Mm-hmm. The bandit mentality, the gang mentality. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I went. Obviously it broke me, but I went. Mm-hmm. Someone that wasn't bothered really. I was half. I didn't want to go to jail. Yeah. And I did. Mm-hmm. You love fighting, Harry? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've grew up a bit now, so yeah. I'm not really interested in it now. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't mean guy, I mean boxing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Love it. Mm-hmm. Like if I if I'd stopped boxing, I wouldn't be the same. I, I wouldn't be happy in that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I wouldn't be the same, Harry. When did you realise that you could make a career out of this sport? And when did you realise that you were good at this sport? Very young. Mm-hmm. Like I was special from. I was five years old on the pad, boom, boom, yeah. slip, boom, spin off, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. doing the craziest stuff what kids just don't do, mm-hmm. and I could do it, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And I had my first bout, my skills bout, not even, no winners, no when you're a little kid, yeah. and I was just stopping them and that. Mm-hmm. Just ref saying, just calm down and all that, and I was just batting them and just knew, this is me. You touched on a minute ago that you spent some time with your Majesty's service in prison. Do you mind me asking what led you there, Harry? Um, Bit of capers, bit of commotion. I ended up on a section 18, mm-hmm. doing the mid intent. Yeah. The bladed article. Mm-hmm. All that grip. Anyway. It was self defence for me because yeah. I used the whatever, the bladed article. Yeah. I had to do my time. Mm-hmm. The judge said, you know, I had all um references. Mm-hmm. England boxing, this that. He's, That's on, it, he's on the road it. to the Olympics. Yeah. Blah blah. Number one seed, and the judge said it saddens me to sentence you, but you have done the crime, so I've got to do your time, give yeah. your time, yeah. but I can give you time where you can still get out mm-hmm. and train for the Olympics. Mm-hmm. So with him, I got it two and a half, two and a half years. Yeah, was that for carrying a blade? Yeah, it was for using it. Yeah, it was, okay. a, it was a stabbing really. So yeah. mm-hmm. I've um, got a year. Yeah, I have to do a year, get out on tag. With the last on your license thing, mm-hmm. well, done me yeah, I got out on tag within three weeks. It was, it was worse than I was the first time. I got yeah. out. Mm-hmm. Where I've done that year in jail, yeah, gang banging in jail, fighting every day. Yeah, you come out worse. Mm-hmm. You come out well worse. Mm-hmm. Cause I thought it was hard, and I thought I could do jail then as well. Do you know what I mean? So I'll come out well worse. Mm-hmm. Back doing what I do. In three weeks, I'm back in. Mm-hmm. Back in again. How was your time inside? You know, it's got through it, no problem, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? But I've had mm-hmm. some ups and had some times as well, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's rough, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. that, that's what I'm trying to say. With most of these boxers from Liverpool, they haven't done nothing. They've never been through nothing, really. You think they have? They've had yeah. a few fights as a kid, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I've been skimmed for two and a half years, flat on my face, hearing these kids' names mm-hmm. in boxing. Yeah. That's why, when I'm telling you, mm-hmm. I'm going to run them over. Yeah. Fully. Like, I'm running them all over. I've, my blood's been boiling for two and a half years. I've been skinned flat on my face. Trying to scrape parcels together, mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, what's going on? I'm a big boxer. That's why I've got mm-hmm. that fire in my belly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's why I'm gonna ruin anyone that gets in me way. How much has your life changed, Harry, since you came out of prison? Because you look a very happy person. You look, you're in a good spot. Oh, How much has your life changed since you've left I've prison? I went from zero to hero like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it happened too quick. I don't even know how it happened like that. I went from a no one to like, I'm not even being cocky, like the whole city loves me, the whole city's on me back. Like, you know what I mean? I, I just walk around, people drop by, BBH money! Yeah. A little superstar, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I we got out of jail last year. You know what I mean? As yeah. I said, flat on me face, nothing, no one. Has it made you mentally stronger, Harry? Yeah. That you've learned that tough lesson in life? Yeah. And you've been given a second chance? Has it made you mentally stronger? 100%, yeah. Mm-hmm. I matured a lot in, in that few mm-hmm. summers I've done in jail. Matured a lot, do you know what I mean? I was always an art little old man anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was 15 feet up reading the paper and a cup of, <laughs> cup of coffee like an old man. But like, yeah. I just went from a little boy to a man mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it wasn't even till just before I got out, I realised when I was getting out, I just thought I was going back to what I do. Mm-hmm. Not, not boxing, do you know what I mean? 
And I was um, talking about it, MTK. Yeah. Wanting, wanting to sign me. Yeah. If it's not like, as soon as you get out, we'll sign. If you get back on the straight and narrow, lad, we'll look into it. Blah, blah, blah. Didn't that, my uncle Joey, in jail. Yeah. I'm in jail, my uncle. Was that the conversation in jail? Yeah. Just thinking, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So, that's what I'm saying, you know what I mean? I'm in jail yeah. with all my uncles and that's mad, you know what I mean? So, um, mm-hmm. Was your uncle inside as well? Yeah, yeah. Aye. My uncle Joey, um, mm-hmm. sitting down with him. And he's saying, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what you did. Don't, we said, we'll box this contract with you, but you've got to get back in, back to winning ways. Mm-hmm. Doing what you do best. I, I, I was loving the sound of it, mm-hmm. but I didn't believe in it. Do you feel that advice your uncle Joey kind of springboarded you to say, it gave yeah. you that maturity? Yeah. Getting those words of advice for him? Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Mm-hmm. Was that a turning point for you? Ah, uh, yeah, but as I said, I was loving it. I mean, I'm listening to him, looking him in the eyes when he's speaking, and I'm yeah. like, mm-hmm. I was dead interested in it. But then I was just like, when he went away and I'm walking back to Michelle, I'm like, <laughs> not at him, but like, half thinking, that's not going to happen, that, you know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. Whatever. I didn't think it would just happen like that, it did. Mm-hmm. So, like, now the way I think I've been in the gym over a year, and that, I didn't think that was going to be possible. Mm-hmm. I didn't think I'd be moving to another country, moving yeah. to Scotland to box, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Bandit like me, I, why would I do that? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, it all just happened. As I said, I went back to the gym, my own gym. Mm-hmm. My coach, who I've been with from that big, he's got a new stable. He wasn't that he wasn't interested in me, it just wasn't the same. Normally when he was padding me or training me, he had a little sparkle in his eye. I was his boy, and his little star boy, and he had that thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And when I got out, he just didn't have that thing for me and it, it broke me heart, you know what I mean? Probably broke his heart as well. Yeah. But, uh, did that, but did that affect you, that kind of yeah, relationship? That, kind that, of that's away, what yeah. I'm trying to say. He, he, mm-hmm. I should, should have really turned pro with him. I've been going from that big, so why not? Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, it was never going to happen in Liverpool. In Liverpool, it was never going to happen. When I went back to gym, he wasn't... He was my coach. Yeah. He was no one coming close to me. Yeah. With him, do you know what I mean? Like he was, man, I was his golden boy. And I got out and I wasn't his golden boy. Did that hurt you? Yeah, it broke me. I, bl- I blended it, I acted like I went ass. And I'm stuck on a... Deep down, it broke me, lad, yeah. I was... I was trying to prove to them all the time. See, I was a lazy fighter, I wouldn't train, as I said, I wouldn't train. So, when he's training these new people, I'm getting up early in the morning to do the hill runs with them and that, trying to beat them. I've been, been in jail for years, I'm going sick and all that. And it was just killing me, it was just... Eating the soul out of me, trying to impress him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Then, I sparred and I thought, this is where I'll get him, yeah, and I'll impress him, do you know what I mean? And I got roughed up. I had an argument with him. Yeah. And I fell out with him. And it just killed me. And I just ended up coming to Scotland. I thought, I've got to do it, you know what I mean? And like, yeah. that's what happened. My whole world fell apart. Everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? I lost all my confidence in jail, everything. Got out, fell out with me coach, my bird left me. Um I'm getting told when I kinda can't see me ma, when I kinda can't hug me ma, like my whole life fell apart, you know what I mean? And that's when I realised the people who did believe in me, me ma, me bird, me, me coach, yeah. when they all gave up on me, I just knew like something's gotta change here, I'm doing something wrong here, do you know what I mean? Like, if you're doing stuff wrong but you're still getting away with it, you'll still do it. Yeah. I wasn't. Oh look at you now. I know now because I've sorted it out, but at the time I knew like I'm not. People are falling out, me leaving me, getting off, whatever, because I'm doing stuff wrong. I'm like, yeah. God, it's changed me. Like this is not me. You know what I mean? What have you learned for that time being inside? You know, stop being a knob. Mm-hmm. Use me language, but that's fine. Just what's what's the need in this? You know what I mean? So like where I come from, I would have killed and died for that area. Yeah. We're getting the other gangs on the other over the road. Do you know what I mean? But then when you do something, it's that area. Who's phoning the police on you and getting your nicked, you know what I mean? Exactly. And you're just like, or oh, them people who, who you do it for. They've just got nicked for something heavy. They'll throw you under the bus in a second, you know what I mean? Or yeah. you went to jail, they wouldn't get send you a postal order. They're probably trying to grip your bed. Oh, this, this shit, that gang life thing, it's just a load of shit for the kids out there now, just don't bother with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Go and make money and look after your mum, like what I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? Well, as I was saying, Harry, difficult roads, 
like the beautiful destinations. Yeah. Look at you now. That's it. Look at you now, mate. That you've just nailed it on the head. Like, I've, I'm, I'm proof of that. I'm proof of that. That's that's why I am gonna go far because I have had a little bad time and whatever, a little rough patch. You know what I mean? That's what gets me out of bed. But no, they have these other boxes. I haven't felt that. Yeah. They don't know the only bad things they have when they get beat in a boxing match, stuff like that. You know what I mean? They don't know that. You've been to rock bottom, mate. Look at you now. The only way is, the only way is up. The only place lower than where I was is the grave. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a fact. You know what I mean? That's why I am humble a bit. That's why I don't wanna disrespect no one because. Yeah. I'm coming from there trying to get up, I'm not looking down on no one. Mm -hmm. I've been the lowest I could ever be, flat on my face, all fours. So. Well, you've got the heart and you've certainly mm -hmm. got the skills. Mm -hmm. So let's just touch back on back in the boxing, um, about your amateur career. We spoke earlier on about that, but mate, you were a stellar amateur. You were so damn good. Tell me about, who's the, tell me about your amateur record. I don't know how many I had. I had 60, 70 odds, you know what I mean? I had a good few. Um, Oxford, England. Over, I think it was 11, 12 times the boxing England. I mean, yeah, it's over 10 times anyway. Um, I won a few. I, I should have won 10 times more. Yeah. So it does me head in thinking about it. Because when you say, what have you won? And I'm like, oh, my record doesn't do me justice. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I was the man. Who's the best you faced? I've ever boxed. And amateurs? The Adam is him. Mm -hmm. He's up there anyway. Yeah. He was me one of my last proper fights. Two national finals. I had it with him. We went to war. We had crazy wars. Mm -hmm. It was just mm -hmm. it, was, it, was even, it was even I even though I lost him. It was a pleasure to yeah. be a part of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can ask Adam Zimmer by me. He won't bad not me in the slightest. Nothing but respect. Since the life out of each other for <laughs> six rounds, you <laughs> know what I mean? Yeah. I, I thought I won one of them. Whether I did or I didn't, he got them anyway, so spilt nothing. Eh? A lot of fighters say that the amateur days become not the best days of their but they look back and go, that was a really, really good time. Tell me some good memories and some good stories you have being an amateur boxer. Well, going away, <laughs> England's guy was class, you know, um, Europeans, that was class. De Dennis the Menace and that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Dennis McCann, yeah. it was class, you know. Um, you and Frankie, Frankie Sting and that, we had some laughs. Mm -hmm. He's always yeah. behaving. <laughs> yes and that, yeah. <laughs> oh, we were terrible, but we, we were good kids, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, we were yeah. just little, little bastards. Mm -hmm. But, um. He likes his Harry Potter, doesn't he? Oh, he loves them. <laughs> it's sad forever. So, um. He had some laughs, you know. Even the coaches, Evan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I've made you realise as well. Do you know what I mean? There's more to yeah. life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Walking along the beach, in my England grip. Yeah. Laugh with the boys, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Boxing for me, country. But when you're flying your flag, you're mm -hmm. walking out with your flag. <laughs> I box. Germans, yeah. Ukrainians, Russians, I box Latvians. Mm -hmm. I'm going to war with these Russians and that, you yeah. know what I mean? I yeah, go, oh, that's great, you know what I mean? You find out you're boxing. Yeah. Like, people go to bits when they go, oh, I'm fighting a Ukrainian. Yeah. I don't think love it. <laughs> get in and have it then, you know what I mean? You're like a good tear up, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a boxer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong, I'm a classy boxer. I'll jab your head off all night. Don't even have to throw one power shot. Mm -hmm. But I'm from the streets of Liverpool, so I don't think I can have a tear up, lad, you know what I mean? <laughs> you just have to think I'm, I can't. But oh, I'm a boxer, yeah. I know you've only had one fight, Harry, right? But how have you, find, how have you found the difference from amateur to pro? A million times better. Mm -hmm. More me. I shoot it more. Yeah. Amateurs was. I don't know how to it. It's too fast. It's just. Yeah. <laughs> a million miles an hour. It's good. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. But. Lights, cameras, you like all that? money. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, love it. Couldn't I? I am made for it. I'm made for the pros. You, you believe your style's made for the pro game? Yeah, I have a, st st a pro style. Even as an amateur, I boxed a bit as a pro. I was a bit slower. I'm, I, was, I had lovely feet, but I was planting yeah. more and I was jabbing and trying to throw body shots and stuff. And yeah. You don't really don't get that until senior elite level. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Olympic levels and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But, you come from a fighting family. How proud were they of you making your debut? I couldn't even, you'd have to ask them, but they were over the moon. Mm -hmm. The first, out of the, this big massive fighting family, I'm the first one to be a professional boxer. What's the biggest part of your game? What's the signature shot? Signature shot? Um, right to, right to the body. Mm -hmm. Money shot. Money after money shot. 
Any shot I throw is a money shot. <laughs> eight money. Eight money for the region. <laughs> but yeah, I like that one. It's a sweet one. You come for a fantastic fight in City for Liverpool. One of the best sides in the world, arguably. The Tony Bell the John Contes, the Shane Eries, the wonderful Smith family, Natasha Jonas, Paul Butler, Barry Matthews, the list goes on. See, in maybe seven to eight years' time, will that name, H Money, been that folklore of names I just mentioned? Yeah. Mm. Put it now. Mm-hmm. Put them all now. I mean, I had my debut. Mm. They're all talking about me now, like I'm the new Terry, I'm the new... Mm-hmm. He's on the blocks, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm not letting it get to me head. I've done nothing yet. Well, for the debut, all right, it was unbelievable. It, it couldn't have went better, but... It's with them, and it's going to be bigger than them, as I've said before. Who's your idols? Who do you look up to in boxing? Now, or as a kid? Well, give me, t- give me two answers. So now, I, and as a kid. Well, as a kid, I looked up to Derry and Jazza. Nah, that's what I'm saying. I've just had my debut with Teddy in my corner. On a, special, on a Jazza bill. Jazz is on the bill. Yeah. Jazz was in the media warehouse with me. I'm with Jazz. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. dreams coming through. It's just it's happening. Yeah. But, all in all, now, like, Terence Crawford, something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is he a fighter that you study, Terence Crawford? Mm. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say I'm like him, but yeah, I've got bits of him. Mm-hmm. Like a few, to be honest. I've got, I haven't got one, you know what I mean? I've got a few people who are like... Shakur Stevenson, people like that. Errol, Errol Spence. Southpaws, like, they've got to be Southpaws, you know what I mean? Um, once he was played and all that, you're always going to yeah. get that. He's the master of the sport, isn't he? But what impresses you the most about Terence Crawford and the Shakur Stevensons and the... The Canelos and guys like that. What impresses you with these elite fighters I just mentioned? Um, they're more cool and composed. They're proper champions, you know what I mean? They don't... If you watch Shakur, he's boxing Oscar Valdez the other day. One of the biggest punches in boxing. He's only from super featherweight or something. One of his lightweights or something, I don't know. One of the biggest punches about. He's just not even bothered. There, pump, 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 pump. Uh, pump he's pump, so pump. good at getting That's champion mm-hmm. mentality. Yeah. And like, that's what will make you the champion. Yeah. I've got that. And you won't watch my debut, you go and watch other people's debut. You'll see how relaxed, cool I am. You know what I mean? How composed I am. I, I, the few times I ate him, I didn't even bother with him, just let him, let him run. I could have just chased him, battered him, stopped him. I didn't bother. I'm boxing for four years, I'll, I'll get these rounds and you can run all you want, you know what I mean? Happy days. And, and my hands were killing off him anyway, so <laughs> I've let him run, you know what I mean? How important is it having somebody like Derry in your corner? Because he's been there, he's done it. He, I was a big Derry fan. He was a, he's a great fit. His record doesn't do it justice. He, no. I, I thought he was a world champion in the main. Yeah. He was very unlucky not to be, as I say, his box is off at time, timing. Maybe not get the right fights at the right time, but he was a hell of a fighter. But what, mm-hmm. having him in your corner, what does that do for you? Oh, mate. Not off. Just like, takes the nerves off things. That's just proper. You're a professional. That makes sense, you know what yeah. I mean? You're not just like, you've got a proper team, you've got the main men behind you, you know what I mean? And it's just... Proper boxing, man. It they? makes you feel... It makes you feel like you've already won something. That makes sense. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? It makes you feel like you're already the man. Yeah. I um, can't wait to do it again with him, you know what I mean? Dom, of course. Dom's my main coach, don't get it twisted, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Dom's the main man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Speaking of good people, Dom is a cracking guy. Main man. He guides you through your career. Yeah, man. How Changed good, my life. Mm. How good is Dom? Too good. Too good for me. Too good. Don't deserve him. You mean that, yeah? Mm-hmm. How, good. how did the link-up come about with you and Dom? My dad and his dad grew up together. Right. And uh, my man and his man know each other. They're good mates. My dad and his dad are mates. So they've all grew up together. Yeah. Me and uncles, aunties, blah, blah. Close families. Mm-hmm. So, really, yeah, come down the wrong path. Man, get him, lads. You know what I mean? Look after him. But I ended up with Tom, because Danny moved to Dubai in that then. Yeah. And he had a break from boxing. Um, probably. He's half par me off with Tom, I reckon, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, best thing he could have done. You know what I mean? It couldn't happen, because Tom's coming through, I'm coming through. We can do it together. And I've got a bond with him, like my mother, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Class to do it. 
do you feel Dom's dedication to the sport and his knowledge will help you grow and develop as a fighter? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. The man. He's the man, he's the man behind the magic, you know what I mean? The man behind the screen there, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, definitely. He's the man. And like, that's what he says, like, he doesn't like the cameras and that like this. Yeah. Like his little attitude, what he, what he says in that, it's unbelievable. And he says, my talking, I'm not jumping on camera talk, my talking is you boxing, you performing. I mean, it's just, it's, he's the best, and he, you know what I mean? He's going to be the man. We're going to be the men, even. You know what I mean? Does he go above and beyond for you? Does everything for me. Mm -hmm. Does everything for me. Same like big brother. Looks after me, doesn't have to look after me. So do they all. Danny, Sander, Tom, Cliffy, Andrew as well. They all look after me, you know what I mean? I'm just a little spoiled kid running around getting out the water. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I'm buzzing with them all. Did, did you and Don click straight away? Yeah. Because you need to click with a trainer, you know, it's like you have to find that, yeah. that bond that he works with. What I was saying before about my amateur coach, I got out, he didn't have that thing for me, he didn't have that sparkle in his eye no more. And um, when I come here, we're just doing like pads in that face. So what it is, he's just trying to like see how good I am, see what I can do, what I can't do, what he can work with, what he can, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I wasn't nowhere near what I can do now, what he's taught me. But, in his eyes, and like, I just knew, you know what I mean? It was a bit mad at first because I'm in a different country, I'm not in my own bed, and just got out of jail as well, don't forget, so I'm still getting used to being out again. Yeah. A different gaff, it was weird, it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't normal to me, but, and I was just training them. Interested as well. It wasn't the same shots what I've had off my coach since I was 10. It wasn't, you know what I mean? It was... And so I'm thinking, when he's saying do this and I'm going, yeah. Like when I'm doing it and coming off and you see me, he's like, he's got that thing in him and he's excited about that me. Hunger. And, and yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. like, I just knew it was just laughing. I got that little excitement for me belly with him, do you know what I mean? But I just thought, uh, I didn't believe in myself at first, that's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't think it would happen. Does Dom give you that kind of motivation and desire to succeed? Yeah, yeah, Dom, yeah, definitely. What's the best piece of advice Dom's gave you? Stay in the gym. <laughs> Probably. No, nah, he's giving me loads. Um, he definitely gives me that. I can't let him down thing. Stay with me, I'm a coach. Let everyone down. Yeah. Got that thing with him where this is it now. Me and him against the world, let's go. Do you know what I mean? And I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't ask for anyone better. He's the man, do you know what I mean? I love him to death, so let's go. Well, mate, it's going to happen because I can see the hunger and desire in your eyes. I know you want this more than anybody. Definitely. Mm -hmm. and I'll, I can sit here and talk shit and say this and that, but I'll just show it anyway. And it comes to it. Do your talking in the ring. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, let's just touch on some boxing, mate. There's some massive fights coming up. Noya Nui, Nanito Denier. The first fight, the stale confrontation, the ebb and flow. What both men did in the ring that night, they almost killed each other. How do you see the second fight going? Couldn't um, they're that good. It's just whoever turns up, I think. Whoever turns up. But some fighters, eh? They're special, aren't they? You know what I mean? <sighs> Two future Hall of Famers, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they've got to be having either up there. What do you feel Daniel has to do different in this fight? Because he's in there against that killer. Just knock him out. <laughs> Get rid of him. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I couldn't, couldn't even speak about it. They're just. That cl cl that class, it's one inch, one centimetre, boom, yeah. boom, fight's changed, you know what I mean? Because Denier did hurt Anu in the first fight, mm. but do you feel he can have moments this time because Nanito will be 39 in this fight, and uh, Anu, I'm sure he's 20, 28, I think Auction is farming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Floyd the master, Ari, Floyd will put you off for three years just to get you out of the sweet time. It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. not, it's not about heart, it's about your brain in mm -hmm. boxing, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, it's right. Yeah. That could win him the fight. Yeah. What impresses you most about the monster? Both dead proper hard, don't they? And there's little fellas, you know what I mean? How do they hit that hard? <sighs> Scary men, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. They just put people away like no tomorrow and they're only that big. It's just like... Oh. This felt certainly all gas and no brakes. But yeah. Definitely, <laughs> 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 eh? But uh, give me a prediction, what do you think? I knew he stopped at six. Six? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's me. 
I can agree with you. I think it'll be too strong, too bullish. Maybe eight, eight. six or eight. Yeah. That's my prediction. Mm -hmm. Just on our fight, we can touch on the heavyweight scene is AJ versus Usyk. How do you see this going? AJ, I mean... You think so? No, I mean, you should, sorry. You should, mm -hmm. should kind of win it. AJ's getting in again. What does AJ have to do different in this fight? Does he have to... He's got to be an heavyweight. Yeah. To, to a cruiserweight or a light heavyweight, whatever he is. You just got to bully him. You just got to lean on him. You got to punch him. Yeah. He's Stick kind of boxer, him. boxer. It's just like, he's a yeah. Ukrainian. They're known for being one of the best boxers. Yeah. You, the feet are too good, the hands are too fat. <laughs> you were never going to box him. He's a proper heavyweight, stiff heavyweight. He can move his head, but yeah. not like a boxer like that. I don't know what his plan was. I don't know. What's his coach McCracken, Rob McCracken? I don't. Yeah, but that's different. No, he's, he's left him now. Don't see the what, what he was thinking going into that fight with yeah. a boxer and thinking we're going to box him. Yeah. Don't knock him out like what you do with everyone else. Go and be an heavyweight lad. It's it's the feet. Lean on him and, yeah. and do this, do that. Rough him up, throw him about a bit, and yeah. tire him out. It's the feints and the movement you see. Just he bamboozles AJ mentally. I think. I think that he makes AJ think harder, which makes oh, him fight harder, God, and yeah. he panics in there. Yeah, you know goes a bit. Then again, art. I don't think AJ's got what people think he has. I don't. Do you think he's been really well built? Listen, he's he's a world champion. He's beat big names. But do you feel that um, that he's not been found out when he gets to that level against the six proper boxers? He finds it difficult in there. People like Tyson Fury. Mm -hmm. Show you who's world class and who's not. Wilder would do the same to him. Yeah. Yusuf done it to him. Mm -hmm. Andy Ruiz done it to him. But Andy, who boxed Andy Ruiz, Andy Ruiz is no one. Who yeah. even knew him, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Belly out, yeah. That's why he picked him. You just thought, yeah, I'm going to get this fella, rough him up. And he just got <laughs> turned over, didn't he? But I think when he gets to that elite level, they're fanned off. How do you see that fight going then? How does it play out, AJ Nusik? I'll ask you a, a prediction. Sorry. Depends how he approaches it. Mm -hmm. If he approaches it as he should, as the bigger, stronger, heavier man, yeah, he should win it. Knock him out, even stop him. Yeah. But if not, mate, a slick boxer. If yeah. not, mate, he's just getting. I reckon he's getting stopped this time. Because mm -hmm. I mean, when Tony Bell, you thought when Tony always says, I mean, he's post fight after Sky. You watch this guy. This guy is a force to be reckoned with. He'll clean up. Mm. Tony says it, and he's been in him. You listen to guys like that, do you know what I mean? No, what? Sony talks sense, lad. He knows the score, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, to get knocked out of someone and say that, I obviously you know what I mean. But I reckon he's right. Yep. I reckon he's right. You six, the man. Yeah. But I, I'm not that interested in him as well. I don't fancy him that much. I'm not like, you six, you six, you six. But he is some fighter, him. And he'll beat AJ 10 times out of 10, probably. Yeah. But I don't think anyone can beat the king of the jungle, and that's Tyson Fury. But do you think he's retired, Tyson? Oh, he's got a little plan in. You think so? Yeah. He's, he's retiring player. for the year or two. Yeah. Then a big fight's going to come on, he's going to get the other way. <laughs> and then he's going to retire. He beats them all, doesn't he? So after AJ and Yusuf box, mm -hmm. he's going to say, oh, come out of retirement, get that. <laughs> Easy next work. That's soft, then, man. Do you know what I mean? He's a businessman now, he's not a boxer. Yeah. He's getting his money in, do you know what I mean? Then he's going to retire. Well, listen, mate, I really appreciate uh, giving you your time today. I'm going to leave the stage for you. Anything you'd like to add? No, that's it. Brilliant. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it so much. You're welcome. God bless. Thank you. Very much. Much.